So in this video, we're going to solve the, the typical problem here. It's ax is equal to b. All right, so let's start off. What do we have? Let's uh, Often for this problem, you're given the matrix A. Uh, let's, say, let's say A is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, make that a 4, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, A is a 3 by 3 matrix. And let's say B is equal to um, vector... 1, 1, 1. All right, perfect. So now what you want to find what the vector x is. And x will have the form x, y, z. Okay, perfect. So what we're going to do first of all is we're going to put it into this form. Um, this is the shorthand form of A, B. So this just represents the augmented matrix. And we'll write that over here. So A, B, uh, let's just start right here. Okay, so A, B is going to be equal. Well, the coefficient matrix is 1. Uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, perfect. And then uh, on the B side, uh, we have B. So we have one, one, one. Okay, perfect. So what we want to do is we want to use elementary row operations to get this to reduced row echelon form. And then from there, we can, um, we can put it back in a system of linear equations and solve for the variables x, y, and z. So let's start. Uh, let's start here. So let's look at this. If we take, um, let's say, let's look at the bottom row first. If we take um, row three minus oh, what do we have? So minus seven times row one. All right. So that's gonna be our first elementary row operation. So we're we're looking at row one. Row one's not gonna change. We have one. Oops, that's a two. Uh, one, two, three. Now let's look at uh, let's consider row row three here. So row three minus seven times row one. So seven minus seven is zero. Eight minus two is negative six. Oh, sorry, eight minus two times fourteen. Uh, my bad is minus minus six. Anyway, so and then we have nine minus three times that nine minus twenty one is going to be equal to uh, minus twelve. Okay, perfect. So on this side, that one stays the same, and we get 1 minus 7 times 1, we get uh, negative 6 over here. Perfect. So now let's actually, let's skip a step. Like, we could write in the middle row and then do another one, but let's just do the second elementary row operation uh, in this step, and then we can just save some space. So let's do, again, um, let's have row 2, because we want this to become a 0 now. Row 2 minus mm, 4 times row one okay perfect so we have four times or four minus four times one is zero and we have five minus four times one and we get uh, five uh, sorry five minus eight uh, negative three there we go and then six minus twelve we get negative six and then for the last value we get um, one minus four is negative three Okay, perfect. So let's just uh, let's just drop down to here, I guess, where we have some space. So let's do this again. We are gonna have we're gonna leave row one alone still. So we have one, two, three, and one that is a one, in fact. And so now what we're gonna do is let's look at this. We want this to become a one, and we want this to become a one. So we're gonna multiply row two by negative one third. So we'll say negative one third row 2, and we want this to become a 1 as well, so this will be, uh, well, negative 6 uh, times row 3, negative 1 6 times row 3. Okay, perfect. So this will give us, this will be 0, uh, negative 3 times negative 1 third, we will get 1, and then 2, and then 1. And then for the bottom, the 0 stays the same, and negative 1 6 times negative 6 is 1, and then again we get 2 and one. Perfect. So now what we want to do is we want to eliminate, uh, we can see we can eliminate this bottom row here. So um, let's do just that. Let's say uh, uh, row 3 minus row 2. Okay. So we have row 3 minus row 2 is what well, we get 0, 0, 0, and on this side we get 0. Now Let's put the second row in. Let's not touch the second row. We see 0, 1, 2, and 1. 
excuse me, and then now we can look at the top and we want this uh, we want this two to become zero or we want to put this in reduced row echelon form. So what we're gonna do is we'll have um, well row one plus uh, sorry minus two times row two. Okay, perfect. So we get one that stays the same, this becomes a zero and three minus four we get minus one and then up on the top we get minus one. Alright, so now look at this. Now our matrix is in reduced row echelon form so now we can put it back into a system of linear equations. So this represents, um, we can drop down another level, uh, this represents a system of linear equations that looks like this. Well it's we're using the variables x, y, and z, so it's x. Um, well, we can do it. We can do it the whole way through. So one x plus zero y um, minus z is equal to negative one, and then we have zero x plus one y plus two z is equal to one, and then we have the bottom is just well zero x plus 0y plus 0z is equal to 0. And that's great. This uh, is a little messy though, so we can simplify this to um, the same thing over here as just x minus z is equal to minus 1. And then y plus 2z is equal to 1. Cool. So now this is the same. Uh, it's the same system of linear equations uh, that you could represent with this augmented matrix. We've just, you know, switched it up a little bit. And then now what we can do is we can just rearrange uh, these numbers here to solve for x, y, and z. So let's just write that beside. Or we can write it down here, or whatever. Uh, we can say that in parametric form, the solution is x is equal to z minus one, and then y is equal to um, minus 2z plus 1 and then z is just equal to z. Alright, and we talked about that in the last video. So this is the answer, this is the solution to ax equals b in parametric form and if we just want to switch this out, maybe we want to write this in vector form. Um, let's just switch colors here. Vector form, we can say that um, x, y, z, right, this is our vector x we can write it like that if we want, right? Um, this is equal to x, y, z, which is equal to the vector z minus 1 is the first component, and then minus 2z plus 1, and then z. And also, this is all equal to, we can simplify this a little farther and pull out the z, so we get, um, we get two vectors here looks like this and again we talked about this in the last video so you can just go check that uh, to see if you're still confused about this how we get this but we have z we pulled out um, the 1 negative 2 and 1 and here we had negative 1 1 and 0